Public swimming. At some point, we have all experienced the joys of public swimming. The feet tapping, the slow swimmer, the middle of the lane swimmer, the Michael Phelps who swims over everyone. Oh, public swimming. It's fun, isn't it? No, but in all seriousness, many of us actually have to use these sessions for our day-to-day -day training. So how do we get the most out of them rather than exploding with anger? Well, here's some tips and tricks. Well, when you arrive on the pool deck, your first job is to assess the pool. You don't have to put your hands on your hips to do this, but it can feel good doing so. Often, pools will assign slow, medium, and fast lanes. Assess as to whether those swimmers in those lanes are indeed slower or faster than yourself. Where do you fit into that lineup, and how does your swimming session work within that? The next step is a simple ha. That's right, just say hello to your fellow swimmers. Hi. You may then want to ask them if you can share the lane. This may seem like a very polite thing to do, maybe a, a very British thing, but it does start you off on the right foot and gets the right attitude before you share a lane with them. You may then like to continue this conversation by discussing the lane direction that you're going to swim in, bearing in mind that this is not the same in all parts of the world. And you might even continue the conversation further by explaining to them that you're going to do a set and maybe even going into detail about what the set might be just so that they know what to expect. Okay, that's the niceties aside. Let's get swimming. And I'm afraid to say the key to public swimming is being flexible. You need to go in with this mindset, otherwise you really will lose your cool. That means being ready to adapt your session, perhaps even being ready to adapt the entire aims of the workout if it's just not the day for it. If it's just too busy, you may find that threshold set simply isn't going to work and today is going to be all about technique or maybe aerobic swimming instead. A follow-on from this is perhaps to simply adjust your whole program towards public swimming. You can build your workouts so that you have active recoveries in between your hard efforts rather than stopping at the end of the lane and causing congestion. You can just keep swimming easy in between the hard efforts and that way you keep your slot in the lane, you don't cause congestion and everyone is a little bit happier. Failing this, you could simply become a nocturnal swimmer. You know, the type of swimmer that's in at the crack of dawn and the depths of the night. Basically, the less sociable hours of the day that are simply less popular to the masses. And if you strike it lucky, you could even find yourself having an entire lane or pool to yourself. As mentioned already, most pools will have dedicated lanes for different speeds. If you are doing a slower portion of your swim, perhaps a kick set or a drill set, it's perfectly acceptable to move from a faster lane into a slower lane to do that bit of your session. In fact, we'd applaud you for it. Also, if you are in the fast lane and someone faster than you gets in and joins you, it's okay for you to bump down a lane. This may be a slightly unpopular opinion if you were there first, but the faster swimmer does pr take priority in the fast lane. This doesn't mean they can be a d about it. They still have to be respectful and wait for you to move over and pass with plenty of room, but it is their right of way. All right, I'm sure nobody means to, but it isn't uncommon for your swimming kit, your swimming toys training aids to go walkies whilst you're swimming. Now, admittedly, a lot of this kit does look quite similar to one another, so people can be excused for making these mistakes. But it doesn't make it any less annoying when you do go to grab your pool boy and it's gone. So, now may be the time to grab your Sharpie and write your initials or your name onto your kit so that people can't make those mistakes. Mate, what are you doing? Those are my fins, these are yours. Oh. What have I'm... you written on it? Sorry, mate. Actually, these are a better size. Oh, thanks. <laughs> no way. Well, despite all our best intentions, there are days that are simply a little frustrating. But rather than throwing your toys out the pram, try to keep your cool. Brush it off, be patient, and continue to be respectful. And failing all of this, just join a local swimming club. No, in all seriousness, you can still get great workouts in public sessions, but we do appreciate they can be a little hit or miss at times. Well, 
I hope today's video has armed you with some tips and tricks for public swimming. If you've got any other tips, then please drop them in the comment section down below. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, give it a like, and subscribe down below.